Hey guys, this video is going to be a basic tutorial on how to set up a, an arena for the Arena Tug of War plugin. So to begin, you do slash tau cre create arena, or whatever you want the arena to be called. You should be standing in the place where you want the red team to spawn. And then you do slash tau alter test two and that puts the blue team spawn next you're gonna have to go through this checklist so do slash tau check test and you'll see all the things you have to add to the arena so we'll start by adding the next eye command for that is slash tau add nexus and then the color and then the uh, name of the arena and we'll do that for the red team too Only thing that changes is the color. Uh, so now if we do slash tau check, oops, slash tau check test, you'll see that these guys have updated. So now we're going to do the towers. I decided to put them in these white boxes. So I'll do slash tau add tower uh, red, and then you have to number the towers because you can have multiple of them. Red one test. And then we'll do red two test. And we'll do finally red three test. Uh, once we've added the towers, I feel like adding the spawners. So the spawners are where your zombies are going to show up. So you do slash tau, add spawner, red, one, test. Uh, it gives you a little reminder. Don't forget to add the path points. We'll do that afterwards. Uh, red, two, test. So we're gonna have multiple spawners and multiple towers. Red, three, test. Um, now we're going to add the path points. So the first path point is just automatically on top of it, so you don't need to add it. And then you do slash tau, add path point, um, red, one. Now the number one refers to which spawner it belongs to. And if you guys remember that back there, the spawner number we added was one. So that's why it corresponds to this one. So we'll go from the spawner to this point here. Uh, test. And if you try to do a path point that is too far away, it won't work. So, oh, I forgot to mention that the, the command is the exact same, but it'll say the second path point has been created. And then the third, oh, a little bit too far. Third one, fourth one, fifth one. We wanna bring the path points all the way to the other side. And the zombies will go from one to another. Uh, if they see players or whatever, they may or may not like diverge paths. There's not much I can do to edit the pathfinding of mobs, but they're pretty good about following the path and attacking players at the same time. So this is for the second spawner. So we'll do slash tau, or basically just change this to two. Oop, a little bit closer. There we go. Second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. I believe the distance between them is 10 blocks if you want to maximize it. It doesn't really matter. It won't affect performance, I don't think. Now we're going, since we added, so let's see. Tau, check, test. Uh, oh, we have to do the white rooms. We've done the towers for red and the spawners for red. Um, it noti Notice that it doesn't say the path points for red. You just have to remember that. Uh, make sure that if you put down your spawners, then you also have to put down your path points for the spawners. Otherwise, the zombies will just spawn and not do anything. So, uh, blue towers. And those were on the... White ones, okay. Touch tau, uh, tower, blue, one, test. 
Let me do test. Oops. Let me test. Um, now we're going to add the spawners for the blue. Oops. Um. Oh, okay, well, that's a good learning tool. I typed in the same command twice on accident, so notice how it says that it, it just moved the position. That's the only thing. So I'm gonna move it again back to the original position where I want it, and then over here, I will the second one and then the third one all right and then I will add the path points real quick all right so test how check test what are we missing? Weight rooms and death rooms. So I decided to put the death rooms back here. Death rooms is where people go during the respawn time. Uh, slash tau add death room blue test. Actually, I'm going to hold off on the red one just for demonstration purpose. Uh, no, I'll just do it. Slash tau add weight room red test. Add death room red test. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, now we need the weight rooms, I believe. Yep. Um, I'll just put the weight rooms in here as well. I didn't actually remember to create weight rooms. But lots of time the weight so the weight rooms are where the players spawn before the team uh, before the game happens. So a lot of times weight rooms will be like off to the side or like floating above the map or whatever you want to do for your server. So I'll do slash tau alter test weight room uh, one for red. The syntax is different for weight room because it's part of the original battle arena um, configuration. So maybe eventually I'll change that, but for now, it's staying as it is. So slash tau, alter, test, wait, room, two. All right, so we should do slash tau, check, test, and it's all ready. Note that like if you do start it and they're not all ready, it'll just cancel your game and say like, it's not done, uh, these many more have to be completed. So even if you do make a, if you, even if you do mess up, it's not too big of a deal. So now to start the game, you do slash tau join, and it'll just automatically join uh, the first arena available. And then if you have enough players, see on the side here it says we're waiting for players. If you have enough players, it'll just start by itself. But if you need to start it with too few players, then you do slash tau for start. Okay, it does this. Once that countdown starts, everything is going to start spawning. Where's our next eye? All right, so uh, I had a minor panic because my server was on peaceful, so the things were spawning. So just make sure you don't make the same mistake. If these things aren't spawning, it's probably because your server is on peaceful mode. Uh, which means zombies spawn in your freaking arena, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I'll just need to stop that. But anyway, irrelevant. Slash game mode C. As you guys can see, everything is working. You have successfully created an arena. Things are fighting themselves and each other. And yeah. So. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.